gotta go that way. Yeah. There's a massive current though. It's nasty. Storm of July 2010 was a historic storm event. We haven't had one of quite that magnitude since then. We will absolutely have it again. I'm not swimming this. Hour and a half later of rain. We got upwards of nine inches of rain in about 12 hours. All that water has to go somewhere. No city system could ever be designed to manage that. So this lift station project, if they're expanding the capacity for it. I was working for the sewage district. We all had the job of trying to figure out the extent of damage. That day afterwards, I was driving around in neighborhoods that had basements flooded. You could feel this frustration, this need to talk to the district and figure out what are my resources for dealing with this basement backup, my basement flooded with sewage. How do I deal with it? I live about a mile away and my basement flooded. And that led me to think we need to have a technology that can handle a lot of water very quickly and treat it very rapidly. After that storm, Dan started musing on this idea. There has got to be some technology that is capable of treating water in less than 30 minutes compared to the 8 to 14 hours it typically takes. So he started fleshing out this technology. When we look at this aging infrastructure, increasing climate change, and increasing urbanization, it has to be with a futuristic approach. Yeah, there's a few of us today. Our conventional wastewater treatment just takes too long. Where a system like this, you could clean the water as the storm is going, meeting the flow of that storm event. We use something called advanced oxidation. Advanced oxidation is characterized by the formation of something called the hydroxyl radical. The hydroxyl radical is the strongest oxidant known to science. The more you produce, the faster you produce them, the better your treatment, the faster your treatment. We're using hydroxyl radicals to attack different compounds and essentially clean the water. So we rapidly produce radicals. That's where rapid radicals came from. We're a big fan of alliteration at the rapid radicals team. I get that a lot. Paige Peters, rapid radicals, that's cool. When we get to this third one, the water's pretty clean and it's kind of a polishing step. The water then gets discharged directly into a lake or river. Explaining how water treatment works can be really challenging because it's, it's kind of an, an immediate non-starter. But this is our poop water. People immediately shut their brains down. We're trying to find a better way to describe what we do. We're all connected by water. I genuinely feel like water is incredibly relatable. We designed these sewer systems in the 1920s. We know how to solve the sewer issues of the last 100 years. We cannot design the same way to solve the sewer issues of the next 100 years. What's in our wastewater now is completely different than what was in our wastewater in the 1920s. Now we're worried about antibiotics, pharmaceuticals, personal care products, microplastics. We continue living in a society that is all about convenience and flushing whatever annoys us or inconveniences us down the toilet. There's 170 outfalls built into the infrastructure here in Milwaukee alone. And each one of those is an opportunity where a system like this, you could clean the water as the storm is going. Nice. Oh, That's where we want to be. That's where we want to be. I want this technology to be implemented in cities across the country and the world. Society can be really difficult to young women who are trying to change things. It felt like everybody that I talked to was trying to tell me what I was doing didn't work, wasn't going to work because it's never been done before. If you see a young person trying to solve a problem, do whatever you can to help them and believe in them, 
And our goal is to make it as clear as bottled water, as clear as lake water. Do not shut them down. Do not make them feel small. Just because things haven't been done before doesn't mean they're bad ideas. It just means that no one has ever been brave enough to try.